Ms. McGill, at Penn, does calling for the genocide of Jews violate Penn's rules or code of conduct? Yes or no? If the speech turns into conduct, it can be harassment, yes. I, I am asking, specifically calling for the genocide of Jews, does that constitute bullying or harassment? If it is directed and severe or pervasive, it is harassment. So the answer is yes. It is a context-dependent decision, Congresswoman. It's a context-dependent decision. That's your testimony today. Calling for the genocide of Jews is depending upon the context. That is not bullying or harassment. This is the easiest question to answer yes, Ms. McGill. Presidents of three of the country's top schools, MIT, Harvard, and the University of Pennsylvania, sharply questioned this week on Capitol Hill over anti-Semitic rhetoric on their campuses, now facing massive backlash for not taking a hardline stance against calls for genocide. From the river to the sea. From the river to the sea. I have not heard calling for the genocide for Jews on our campus. But you've heard chants for intifada. I've heard chants, which can be anti-Semitic depending on the context, when calling for the elimination of the Jewish people. So far, no protesters held accountable. Have any students been expelled or disciplined for bullying, harassment, or uh, these actions that you're listing? I can assure you we have robust student disciplinary processes. No, 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 no. I'm not, we, I didn't ask about you. I did them. not ask about your process. I asked if any students had been disciplined or removed from Harvard as a result of the bullying and the harassment that's taking place based on their anti-Semitic views. After the hearing, University of Pennsylvania President Liz McGill attempted to clarify her remarks, issuing a video statement. When I was asked if a call for the genocide of Jewish people on our campus would violate our policies. In that moment, I was focused on our university's longstanding policies aligned with the U.S. Constitution, which say that speech alone is not punishable. I was not focused on, but I should have been. Harvard's president, Claudine Gay, issued a written statement after the House committee hearing in part saying, calls for violence or genocide against the Jewish community or any religious or ethnic group are vile. They have no place at Harvard, and those who threaten our Jewish students will be held to account. Pennsylvania's Democratic governor said U Penn's McGill failed at the most basic level. It shouldn't be hard, and there should be no nuance to that. She needed to give a one-word answer, and she failed to meet that test. The White House making clear on calls for genocide, there is no room for nuance. Uh, calls for genocide are unacceptable. Uh, it's vile, and it, it's counter to everything this country stands for. I can't believe I even have to say that. I can't believe I even have to say that. From the halls of Congress to presidential politics. It was disgusting to see what happened. Calls for all three university presidents to step aside, growing some business leaders and the CEO of the Anti-Defamation League. When I watch these presidents flail and feebly with legalish answers respond to a simple line of questioning, I've got to say, We've lost confidence in them. Some Jewish students and their supporters demanding action. Jewish students do not believe that the MIT administration has done an adequate job to make students feel safe on campus. Do something. Protect Jewish people. Protect your students.